dear distinguished guests, dear EIF members, dear colleagues, uh, Claire, Julie, and, um, and Lambert, uh, dear friends, I would like to welcome you all to this morning debate on children online, on children online internet, cybercrime, and sexual abuse online. A special, a special welcome, welcome, sorry, I don't speak very friendly English, and especially in the morning. <laughs> 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 yes, I would like to welcome you all to this morning debate on children online, internet, cybercrime, and sexual abuse online. A special welcome goes also to our speakers this morning. I will introduce them in a moment. Uh, some, some words before, child ab uh, sexual abuses and exploitations are severe violations of the UN Convention of the, on the Rights of the Child with devastating implication on the development and on the health of the abused child. Uh, the UN Convention ratified by all, all EU member states, I precise. While international law sets high standards for protection of children, against sexual abuse, national law, justice and protection system can fail to protect children adequately. Research shows that sexual ab abuse of girls and boys take place in all settings, in home, at school, in the community, in institution, in, in workplaces, and in all parts of the world, including Europe. In 2011, the, U the European Union adopted a directive on combating sexual abuse, sexual exploitation and children, of children sorry, and child pornography. Today, it's vital that member states voluntarily commit to this fight and transpose actively and in an adequate manner this key, this key directive. Our Parliament has uh, just started its work on that important question again. Regarding the only world, it's quite more complex. New measures, new legislations are being set in place to prevent cybercrime and sexual abuse, uh, abuse online. This morning, we gathered experts to exchange views on the state of play and on the challenges that lie uh, ahead of policy makers. And the challenges are enormous, numbers are horrific and disgusting. We knew it, but every new report, for example, that last Europol one is carrying. Now, as time is very limited, I will briefly introduce our speaker, and I hope you understand me. You can find more details about them uh, in your file on the table. I also invite the speaker to be brief in order to have uh, enough time to, for questions and answers just after. The first one is Catal de l'année team leader for child sexual abuse and Europol Cybercrime Center. After Delphine Morales, Secretary General of Missing Children Europe. And at last, Veronica Donoso, Executive Director of uh, INOP, the International Association of Hotlines. I thank you uh, all for coming. And the floor is now yours, uh, if you want to, to begin, Mr. Catal Delaney. Thank you very much. Thank you.